Welcome! This video will guide you quick and easy installation of your roller screens. While methods may vary depending upon existing window and door frames and configurations, these instructions will explain the most common application methods. Take the width and height measurements of the window. Take the 6 meter roller bar cassette out from the boxes. Specify dimensions on the profiles and cut the profiles with an automatic or handsaw. Then clean the profiles from the burrs. Don't forget to consider the thickness of the side caps. For the dimension and cutting tolerances, please refer to the technical catalog. Insert the brush in the cavity of the sliding bar. Reduce net on the tube by 4 mm more than the cassette in sliding bar. It helps to move the net on the tube more smoothly. Now, we can assemble the plastic parts. First of all, insert the pulling cord with a screwdriver and shorten the cord if necessary. Then, the handles should be inserted inside the sliding bar. After that, slide the bar caps with the help of a plastic hammer. Finally, the side cap with the spring will be inserted and tensioned according to the dimension. Turn and tension the spring according to the torque need of the system. 10, 15, 20 or 25 turns. Both sides must be fastened with three screws. The brake is an optional product. It's used to reduce the speed of the system and can be placed on the opposite side of the spring with the support of the side cap. Cut the side guide rails with a hand or electric saw. Insert the piles in the cavities and install the stoppers on the bottom of the side guides. Choosing adjustable or hidden stoppers are optional.
For the face mount assembling method, insert the angle bracket on the cassette or use the end caps with face mount flange and fix with screws. Assemble the system on a suitable surface before fixing on the window. Drill the side guides and fix them by screws onto the window or door frame with equal distances. After screwing, cover the holes with plastic hole covers. Test the system. Make sure that it works well. If necessary, increase or decrease the turns of the spring. That's it! Your roller system is ready to use.